Hey guys, it's Jordan Byers, and my bags are not designer today. I got these brushes from AliExpress for five dollars. Five dollars for five brushes. So that is an incredible deal, and I'm not trying to pay like $580 for the Artiste brushes or like the original real ones of these because just no, absolutely no, no. So I found some dupes on AliExpress and we're gonna see if they can, you know, work some magic on this, this face. So I'm going to use the second largest brush and my Kat Von D concealer in light 16 and try to cover up my pimps and my under eye bags first. First thing, it's just really hard because when you press it, it literally just starts bending. But so I'm like putting my finger here to kind of control it a little bit, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm actually super impressed with this. So the difference with this and the Beauty Blender is that the Beauty Blender like really sucks in that product and kind of doesn't let you use all of it on your face. It kind of just like takes, it's taking your product. It's selfish, the Beauty Blender is selfish. But this just really blends out that product on your face and like it's very nice. I'm very impressed, very impressed. I'm going to take the biggest brush and my La Bella Donna Pure Mineral Foundation in Nicoletta and see if these bad boys can handle foundation. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. <gasps> Y'all need to get you some of these for $5. $5. The only problem is that this is so bendy that when you press against your skin, it's like, you see? <sighs> so you just kind of have to hold this as you're blending it to your skin so it's not like, you know what I mean. So I'm going to highlight and contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm gonna use this brush. I think. These are definitely my favorite brushes so far. Like everything just blends so amazing. I don't think I'm going back to my beauty blender at this point because these are freaking amazing. Like, $5. These are amazing. Girl, wait a second. Do you see that glow? I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo in Ebony. You can't get a super defined brow with this, so I'm going to just use my normal brush to fill in my eyebrows. Now I'm going to attempt to do my eyeshadow, and today I'm using the Lorac Unzipped Palette. <laughs> so, I'm very skeptical at this point. Let's just see how it goes. But first, I'm applying my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I'm going to line my lips with a nude lip liner and then put on the Pink Lotus Lip Switch over top of that. So for my final review, I'm going to say that these two brushes are freaking amazing. I recommend them 100%, I love them. I've never had my foundation or my concealer and powder foundation go on as smoothly and as full coverage as it did with these two brushes. But for these other three brushes, I could live without, to be completely honest. The bristles on these ones are not as soft as these ones, so when I was using these to do my eyeshadow and stuff like that, it was kind of tugging on my eyes and I don't, I didn't like that. But 
for five dollars just get the whole set like these are fantastic please get them your makeup routine will be changed no lie no lie i don't i don't bs you guys i tell you straight up if i like it or not and i like this a lot all right guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos in the future more fake up girl you know we got more fake up coming on its way trust me except shipping from aliexpress is really freaking long so but we got stuff coming we gonna be on that fake up videos real soon real quick so be on the lookout for that and if you want to follow me on any other social media my links are down below i'm on instagram twitter tumblr snapchat facebook everything down below go check it out and i'll see you in the next video bye